it's Jasmine and today I have my September hits and misses. I have a lot of complexion products to talk about so I'm just gonna dive right into it. I have one foundation that I have two foundations that I really really enjoy but this is probably like my number one and this is the Catrice HD coverage foundation as most of you guys know I'm in their campaign for their foundation. They sent me a DM on Instagram saying that they're gonna use my face for Gen Beauty New York if you're gonna go there and happen to walk by the Catrice booth my face is gonna be on there uh, I unfortunately I can't make it cuz I have school but oh my god if you guys have the chance I hope you guys see it uh, and so this is the HD liquid cover foundation and it's in the shade golden beige it lasts up to 24 hours it's mattifying and it has a second skin effect and it also looks great in pictures now the reason why I like this foundation so much besides me being in the campaign is because it really does look like a second skin it looks like the my skin but better and one of my friends even said that they were like wow your skin looks like a my skin but better and so just having that compliment really reassured me on this foundation also I think it lasts for a sufficiently long time it doesn't last up to 24 hours though uh, but it definitely lasts up to like 12 hours and then it's good to clock out but even yet 12 hours that's a really really long time for a foundation I also like the fact that it's $11 but you can also use your coupons on it uh, at Ulta. They haven't launched all their shades at Ulta yet. They just did an expansion of their shades. Now they have 16 shades total. They used to have four. Yikes. <laughs> but other than that, this foundation is really, really good. Right now, all the shades are on the Catrice website. So if you want to get your hands on it now, ASAP, they have a great uh, way to select your foundation shade, undertone, etc, etc. They're really, really good with that. So I definitely recommend it if you're looking for something very lightweight that will hold up throughout the day. Um, if you are oily and you're thinking about getting this for maintaining your oil, I'm a normal skin type and at the end of the day I do look a little dewy and so maybe you just need a little bit extra powder when using this foundation. But a foundation that I found is really really good for oily skin girls and that will literally last all day like I'm talking about more than 12 hours is definitely the NYX can't stop won't stop foundation now when I first tried this out I was really really skeptical and I waited a few days until I did my review on my channel and honestly ever since I did the review I've been using it more and more and every day that I've worn this whether it's to work or when I know I'll have like a really really long day this stays on my face. No transfer. My face does not look oily at the end of the day. Typically when my face looks oily, it's pretty much my primer and my moisturizer that has pretty much clocked out and is now seeping through the foundation because I know that in certain areas of my face I don't get oily. Like my cheek area right here I don't get oily but some foundations will make me look a little bit dewy at the end of the day but I just know that it's the foundation as well as everything underneath that is breaking up this does not budge it's definitely something that is bulletproof in my opinion and I could see why some people won't like it because it is very mattifying. So like I said in the review, if you are going to use this foundation, you're going to need to moisturize the heck out of your skin if you're a dry or normal skin type because it is something that will last a long time and it looks beautiful on the skin all day. As most of you guys know, I love Juno & Co. lashes. They make one of the best eyelashes and they're so affordable. Four dollars? Are you kidding me? So when I did go to the Juno & Co. warehouse, they were talking to me about their expansion of their eyelashes and I was so excited. I said, oh my god, girl, I can't wait to see them. And so right when they launched, I bought them. And I specifically love the style 67. This is so beautiful. It comes in this beautiful little diamond case. They asked me if I liked the uh, packaging and I said, oh my god, yes keep that one get rid of the old one this is the one it's in this really cute diamond case and when you're done with the eyelash you could totally keep the case put your bobby pins in it put your medicine in it literally so universal so i'm going to show you guys a little close-up of style 67 very very fluffy the band is so flexible if you're into um the style like I want to say maybe like in between of Demi G and Baby G by Coco Lashes, you'll definitely like these. These are something that are so fluffy, so wispy. They don't look like plastic on your eyes. They feel amazing and they conform to your eye shape so well. So I highly recommend these and definitely purchase some of their lashes. It's definitely 
one that you can't skip out on. For about like a year and a half, I've been going through these samples of coats and it's their natural tinted SPF, SPF 40. And the reason why I like it so much is because it's not your typical sunscreen. It comes out tinted. It's like a little tan. See how it just blends into my skin and it's not white at all. I really like that. Plus it feels, feels dead on like the Benefit Professional dead on and sometimes I wouldn't even use a primer I would just put this on my face and leave the house and you know with that being said you know me going through like a lot of samples like a lot of samples coats sent me a full size how about that oh my god they sent me a full size and I was like honest thank you because this is my last sample <laughs> This is my last sample, so they sent me the full size, but if you if you were here since like last year, you guys heard me talk about this in another Hits and Misses, but I wanted to bring it up again, and I wanted to show you guys what the full size looks like. The full size looks like this. I believe it's around like $20. I know that's a little expensive, but at the same time, that amount that I just put on the back of my hand, that was enough to actually spread across my whole face and neck. So you don't need a lot of this stuff and it's made with really good ingredients. I believe the acronym for coats, it's like contains only titanium zinc oxide, something like that. It's like very few ingredients and it's really, really good. I highly recommend it and you can find these at Ulta, I believe. So definitely use your coupons on it if you can and get you some because it's good to wear sunscreen all year round because UVA and UVB rays will get into your skin no matter what season it is. My last hit for this month are these two lip liners by Real Her. They just revamped their packaging. They used to have white packaging and now they're in this beautiful black package. I love the shades. I am confident and I am everything. I am everything is literally so beautiful. It is like this nice burnt orange shade and I love it for the days when I wear my red lips because I don't like my red lips to be too bold. I like them to kind of be a little bit more toned down. And then the I Am Confident shade is so pretty. It's like that perfect mauve nude that I really, really enjoy wearing. They're all really creamy and I think this formula feels a lot creamier and I feel like lasts a lot longer than their old formula and I have their old formula so definitely these are something to pick up and just wait for a sale if you're gonna buy something off Real Her. It's definitely worth it. Their brand is just a little teensy kind of bit expensive for what you are getting but at the same time I do believe they donate 20% of their proceeds to I think a woman's shelter or some type of woman organization so that's also really nice as well. Let's go on into my misses. Now this month I was planning on doing like the video of how I cleared my skin. You, might, you guys remember last year when my skin was completely utterly disgusting. Not even last year, it was the beginning of this year. Remember when my skin was actually disgusting and it was peeling and I could barely talk because I had like a pimple right here. It wasn't even a pimple, it was a scab and every single time I opened my mouth to talk it would like rip open and bleed and Jesus Christ. I was trying to film that video on how I cleared my skin, but these products broke me out. They broke me out. And so they are my misses. This Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation broke me out. I like this foundation. I think it's so good, so standard, so affordable. It looks great in pictures like it claims, but it broke me out so bad. It broke me out like on my cheek area here and I still have a pimple right here. I don't know if you guys can like even tell. I covered it up pretty well today but no I'm gonna throw this out. I typically like to use up my foundations to the very last drop and I mind you I have like just the littlest bit left and for some weird reason I think it's because of the spatula. I definitely think it's because like I'm constantly like putting on my face, dipping it back in, putting on my face, dipping it back in. I think there's a lot of bacterial transfer that's happening and I just, it's not working out anymore. So it's time to go into the garbage. And if you guys remembered when I did my full face of Shot Missy part two, I used the Santee foundations. This made my forehead 
break out like crazy. I got, I got pimples in my eyebrows. I got pimples on my forehead and thank God I have bangs now because what do I do? I cover it and I make sure that you guys don't see it, but it, it hurt so bad. Like these weren't just like normal, like just regular dots. No, they were like pimples that low key hurt. And I knew it was these because it was on that same day that night pimples were like coming out of my skin and like coming through these foundations. So you know what? I just don't recommend these at all because at some point they're going to break you out and I just don't want that for you guys. So that wraps up this really small accumulation of products. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you have any favorites or misses of your own that you'd like to share, I'd love to hear it. I'd like to hear what you guys test out and what you guys like to try because it makes me... It makes me want to try things and it makes me want to avoid things just like you guys. So just let me know and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! Peace out Girl Scouts.